Alright everybody, I'm coming to y'all on a Pepper Chamber of Love exclusive with Dirty Bird himself, Mr. Brandon. What's up y'all? Coming to him on a hot sauce review today. Now what I'm about to say, I don't want to influence you in any way. So okay. before I'm going to describe this, before we give it a run for it, this is the exclusive high octane sauce company, Low Rider, baby. This is one of my favorite sauces of 2014. Now, High Octane Sauce Company has a lot going on. But I remember being at not this festival, but the last festival. He said, Brad, try this sauce. It tastes like an enchilada in a bottle. The Houston one, right? Yep, the yep. Houston one. Not the last one, but the, the previous one. I was at. Mm -hmm. okay. It says New Mexico Chili Sauce. Now, here's what I'm digging about this sauce. This is made of beer and chili. It is a mild sauce. Let me let me read you the ingredients. New Mexico chilies, no label brewing company, El Heisenweisen beer, Heffenweisen, water, <laughs> red jalapenos, that German, baby. Yeah, tomato sauce, tomato water, salt, spices, chili de arbol, cilantro, sugar, spices, lime juice, agave, nectar, and salt. You can go to HighOctaneSauceCo.com, HighOctaneSauceCo.com, check this out. But first things first, I want his personal opinion on marketing, on artwork, on label branding. The way that thing makes you feel. It's beautiful. Um, it's it, got like a shimmer on it, which is cool. Uh, it's glossy, uh, not like a you know matte finish. Uh, the picture's great. It's awesome. I love it. Um, are we doing out of five or out of ten? However way you do it, baby. I'm going to give it eight out of ten. You can give it an eight out of yeah, ten? Yeah, I love it. It's beautiful. Okay. Uh, I, I agree. I'd give him an eight out of ten, too. I love the way the sauce bounces off the label. Beautiful. I love the way the what, just how the label makes you feel and what it represents as its sauce in general. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to turn Brandon on to this sauce for the very first time, baby. And he's going to get a good look and a good listen of what's going on. Now, this is a mild one. So what we're going to do is shake this up for him. I would do non-salt, non-hot sauce nunchucks, but I'd bust him right upside his head. So here's what we do. Aroma, baby. Go ahead. Ooh, that is an enchilada. That's chili. It just tastes like chili, dude. Smell, check, taste, smells. I'm getting my... That's, no, it happens. Nom, 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 nom. When you can taste the sauce yeah. and the aroma oh, man. is what happened just then. That's what makes a good sauce. When you can taste the sauce in the aroma, boom. Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten, baby. Smells like an enchilada in a bottle, don't it? It does. It does. That New Mexico chili aura ball... Whatever the hell it is, making right. it smell like That's that, a, that, it's working. I, I give it a 9 out of 10 as well. All right. Now the fun part. Whoops. <laughs> oh, right. shit around the man cave. There we go, man. I ain't gonna clean that up. I just cleaned my darn man cave and dirtied it up. He ain't never had it before. I'm turning him on to it. Cheers. Cheers. La, 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 it is. La, 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 la. Enchilada in a bottle, baby. Enchilada in a bottle. Oh, that's good. You like that? Yeah. How, very how, mild. I want to find out right now how, how on a scale of 1 to 10, how much do you like it? Nine. You can fucking have it. Merry Christmas. Hey, Happy New I'll Year. take it. I'm going to turn him on to his. It's mild. You t you it is mild. On, very mild. You have that on tacos, dude. I swear to gosh. You're going to fall in love with it. Love heat, it. Heat. What would you give that sauce in heat? One. Think maybe it. two. And for him, he's the average Joe. Yeah. Yeah, this is this is nothing, you guys. As far as heat, if you're worried about heat, this is nothing. The flavor, and that's what makes a hot sauce. Don't get it twisted. These people who put out these hot sauces with all the gum and the crap in it that make <laughs> it that make it so hot you can't even taste it. It's just heat. That's That's a gimmick. That's a gimmick. That's not a. That's not a product. That's not staying power. This is staying power. This you, is flavor. Do you taste the beer? 
Yeah, a little bit, a little right, bit. Like a, a, it's he's mixed it so well, it really just tastes like enchilada in a bottle, <laughs> like it should. <laughs> it's you're exactly right. The flavor that's what gives that's what gives a sauce staying power, in my opinion. I'm just the average Joe. What do I know? But uh, I think he would agree. Flavor is what gives a sauce staying power, not just overpowering heat. You know, you don't want to mess up your tongue and burn your tongue and burn your insides. You want to feel it. You want to taste it. This is what the what Pepper is. Chamber loves all about: sharing the love, showing him that there are actual sauces that hot that are called hot sauces that he can actually really enjoy without ever touching the damn thing again because it's so darn hot. High octane sauce company. Uh, you've done incredible with this sauce. It's one of my new favorites. This, this is a Absolutely. by far must get. One of my top favorites for 2014. Uh, I, I, I'll be buying plenty more. So y'all check him out. Y'all are welcome for us turning you on to Damn that. right. Because uh, this is what it's going to be, baby. This is Bishop Brad. This is Average Joe. Coming to y'all on the Pepper Chamber of Love, baby. We're going to see y'all on the next video. We go ahead and turn that video off right Peace. Now. Yeah, baby. <laughs>